While the new rule is beneficial for infielders like Drury and Goslin on the defensive side, when they are the base runner, it provides a different mindset for them when going into second base. Chip Hale is in an interesting spot on Tuesday as he gets the unique opportunity to manage against a school he won a national championship with back in 1986. With the offseason additions of Zach Greinke and Shelby Miller, the rotation slots are filling up quickly, and manager Chip Hale said the rotation's last spot will be decided with a battle. The baseball glove. It's one of the most important pieces of equipment in all of sports. For players, the leather is not just an extension of their arm to catch the ball. It's an extension of who they are. We got JD2, um, and JD stands for Josh Dickerson. I got a bracelet of him too. And he's a friend of mine that passed away from cancer. And so I, JD2's on all my gloves. And, just kind of a reminder that, you know, this is just baseball. There's more important things out there. The relationship between the players and the glove goes back to the first childhood glove. Uh, I think it was a hand-me-down from my older brother. And, uh, and he, you know, he broke it in and, and then I used it. But when I got it, it was already, like, ready to go. Uh, I think that's why I liked it so much because it was already broken in. For Major League Baseball players, it doesn't take as long to break in these gloves anymore. A few games of catch and you're ready to go. And for players like Tyler Clippard, if they find a glove that fits them just right, they'll keep it with them for years. I think I've only used three gloves in, in a game, in a major league game, in, in my seven years in the big leagues. So right now, I've, the glove I'm using right now, I think is getting ready to, to go into its fourth season. So uh, I really like that one. And if another one comes along that I like more, then you know I might have to, to turn the page on it, but it hasn't happened yet. For others like David Peralta, the glove that brings him the most luck is the leather he takes to the field, day in and day out. Uh, well, I was using for a long time the same glove as all, and I mean, I was doing goo every year with that glove, so kind of like like it, you know, it feels comfortable, so I was, okay, I have to use this glove every day, I have to use it because I'm doing well, so if you're doing well with something, I'm a superstitious guy, so if I'm doing well with something like either wearing this t-shirt every day or do something, I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> Even after all these years, Peralta still has the piece of leather he first hit the field with. My first glove is still in Venezuela, that's where I'm from. It's kind of like old and small. Sometimes trying to put it on, it doesn't feel my hand, but, but it's good. Yeah, still like Reporting at Salt River Field, I'm Torrance Dunham. Some marine pitchers in baseball are certainly a rarity. One of those pitchers is Arizona Diamondbacks closer Brad Ziegler. Uh, when I was with Oakland, um, I got to AAA as a starter, uh, an overhand starter, and then they asked me after the 2006 season um, to convert to submarine. And so I, um, after a little resistance, I decided to, to run with it and, and uh, haven't looked back. After all these years, the mechanics of dropping down are still a process Ziegler must continue to work on. It's, it's definitely a work in progress always. Um, I always feel it's still a very unnatural throwing motion for me, but I'm a lot more comfortable obviously doing it now than I was when I started. So, um, but I'm constantly looking at, at video and, and just trying to keep things consistent. Since debuting back in 2008, Brad Ziegler has been one of the better relievers in the league and finally got a chance to close for the Diamondbacks last season. He offers something a little different coming out of the pen in the ninth inning as he is one of the only submarine closers in the majors. He has deception. It's not a guy that you're going to see every day with that delivery, so I think that adds to his deception and, and his effectiveness in a game. And uh, the big thing with Brad is he commands counts. Uh, it works ahead. Uh, he works quick, and uh, he's had success doing it. Entering the 2016 season as the full-time closer, Ziegler has a lofty goal for himself and his teammates. Not give up any runs all year. Um, you know, I, I think we're pretty much going to go 162 and 0. So, um, you know, we. Who knows, you know, we, we're going to go out there and give it our best every night and, and hopefully that will, um, that effort level as long as, as long as staying healthy um, will produce a lot better results than we've had the last few years. Reporting from Salt River Fields, I'm Torrance Dunham. Following an off-season trade, infielder Gene Segura reported to his first week of Arizona Diamondbacks spring training. Already showing us the athleticism that we that we thought he had. Uh, he's swinging the bat really well. We like his short stroke, uses the right side of the field. Seguro was not surprised to find out he would be donning a new uniform come spring training. 
was, it's not surprising me. I know I'm gonna get traded in some points in the off season, but I don't, I don't know. I don't even know was that team gonna gonna have me. Now I'm happy to be here around those guys. I'm happy to be here because we are a great team now and we can compete in the championship, the playoff. For Segura, the game remains the same wherever he goes, but it may take him some time to fully settle in with his new teammates and coaches. Around the good people here, around the good people every, everywhere you go, but at the same point, you leave your old friend, and here you're trying to make your new friends, and I think it's, uh, it's, it's going to take a while, you know, to know everybody, to know the coaches, players. Gene Segura joins an already loaded Diamondbacks infield, and he'll have to fight for a starting spot when games begin here in about a week at Salt River Field. We're going to look at him in games at second and short uh, and, you know, see what kind of combination we come up with. I mean, it could be a, there could be a different than anybody really even thinks about, whether you throw Goslin in the mix, you throw Drury in the mix. I mean, there's a lot of guys to fight for those jobs. There's going to be, like we talked about, healthy competition. Considering the Diamondbacks' talent and veteran leadership, Segura is happy to be wearing Sedona red. Young guy, we got some veterans. We got some guys that have some playoff experience. I mean, we're looking for, you know, like I said, go to the playoff and some championships. That's our goal. And, you know, go out there, compete every night. And we're good, man. At Salt River Fields, I'm Torrance Dunham.